Hi everybody, this is Bags and Lifestyle. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let's go ahead and get into today's topic, which we are gonna be talking about pre-owned luxury goods and the prices. So as you can see from the title, we're gonna be talking about how the prices have changed from a CNN article that was written in January of 2023. That's what you're in. Yes, in January of 2023. So if you are not new to my channel, thank you so much for coming back. And I got my trusty notebook and my phone. So if you know, I'm using that for references because I've written notes and I want to get through everything. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for trying me out. I talk about lifestyle topics ranging the gamut from hair to hair product reviews to pre-owned luxury goods to... I've been mixing in cooking and all that kind of stuff too. So definitely check out some more videos and definitely like this video. All right, so let's go ahead and get to today's topic. So like I said, as you can see from the title, the resale value of luxury goods has a decrease. So let me just read the article from CNN Business title for you. So then that way we can just get right on into it. And so it says, resale value of Gucci, Chanel, Louis Vuitton handbags is falling. Very shocking, shocking, right? Because what's been trending on social media, YouTube videos, if you unbox or if you talk about Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Hermes, Gucci, any of those kind of like really trending brands, your video is gonna get views, your post is gonna get views, your whatever else you do is going to get views. And it's interesting that the prices are falling. So just to give you some points from the article, it will always be linked down below so you can read it and check it out for yourself. But Sasha Skoda, the director of merchandising for Real Real, had mentioned that the demand for higher price luxury brands on the resale side is down. If you don't know what the Real Real is, where have you been? <laughs> it's okay. If you don't know, maybe you're just not into luxury goods, but they are a really large online and actually brick and mortar store as well that sells pre-owned luxury goods. So just let you know if you case you didn't know. So the funny, not the funny thing, but the interesting part about this is that it the impact it has been impacting the prices for Chanel, Gucci, and Louis Vuitton particularly. And if you guys know anything about kind of like Gucci in the recent years, like Gucci is is very well known for a different aesthetic and they're going after definitely a younger trendier people who like flashy vibes so just not just younger but anyone who likes that kind of flashy i can see you from three blocks away until you have a gucci jacket on is kind of the vibe that <laughs> that gucci gives it was interesting that you know those three are they're seeing the decrease in prices on um so now they did mention that they have seen a change though so they've seen those prices go down okay and then they've seen that l lower price like so lower price brands than the gucci chanel and um lv in the pre-owned side have started increasing so the demand for those lower price items has started to increase so that would be a for example Miu Miu and Bottega Veneta so that is very interesting so if you don't know or have not tried to dabble or that's the same thing but anyway if you don't know there are certain brands that will command top dollar you can get more out of the you can get more resale values what we call it and that's your Hermes your Chanel generally, your Louis Vuitton generally, those brands definitely command top dollar for resale. You can get more out of your items. So if you hear people talk about investment pieces and um, things of that nature or resale value, basically if you pay $1,600 for something today and then if it's a high and hot and in demand and coveted item, you could potentially sell that for more than the money you paid for it or not lose as much money. So traditionally with resale, it can range from 30 to 70% off of the retail price, just depending on a whole gambit of things. And I actually have a video where I talk about that. So definitely check that video out after you watch this one. So quick spill there, I'm trying to just like catch everybody up if I can, <laughs> catch everybody up that I can. So that 
resale value. So I was getting off on a tangent. So interestingly enough, reading the article, it did say that prices fell for Louis Vuitton by 20%. Gucci dropped by 17% as far as uh, and Hermes by 9%. Yes, you heard me right. Hermes dropped by 9% according to the data that The Real Real has seen from their site. So, moving forward into what I mentioned about those lower price items. So, they also saw that demand doubled for what we call fair condition items. And this is and The Real Real typically sells those fair condition items at 33% cheaper than something that's in excellent condition. So you can have further savings on that Chanel Classic Flap. Let's say it's in perfect condition. That Chanel Classic Flap may be, let's say $7,000 on the Real Real's website. Well, in fair condition, which means that there are more scuffs, scratches on it, more sign of wear, things like that, where, I mean, it looks like it's, you know, had some runs around the block, basically. It's, sells for typically 33% less. So you can get further savings on those kind of lesser desirable conditions, like fair condition, because of the condition that it's in pretty much. So that's what they're talking about there. So I wanted to quickly talk about my thoughts about this. I think I find this interesting. And I feel like it's a com it could be a combination of things and we'll have to just watch this further and see what happens. And I'm really interested because I, like I said at the beginning, I enjoy purchasing luxury goods on the pre-owned market. So what has happened over the past several years is luxury, the popularity of pre-owned luxury goods has skyrocketed. Where you used to be able to go to a consignment store and maybe get a Chanel bag for $1,700, that next same Chanel bag is now in today's time probably like three thousand dollars. So the numbers have increased, and it's increased on it overall in general, but it's really increased on those highly desirable, those coveted brands. So that's why they called out those three where they said that they saw the decrease with LV, Gucci, and what was the other one? Chanel. <laughs> So my thoughts on it is it could be a few things. One of the things that they mentioned in the article is the fact that, you know, at, we're seeing an economic downturn. We're seeing people have layoffs. And I know people have been throwing around the word, the R word. I'm not saying it. I, you know, they haven't officially said that's the case yet. But People are nervous. People are feeling the prices of inflation and eggs and all this other stuff <laughs> be so expensive. And so that decreases the free money you have to spend on something as frivolous as a handbag, right? You know, you need to make sure you have somewhere to stay. You need to make sure you can pay your car note. But with these price, with things that's happening in the world and with people's jobs, it could that could be a reason why, right? Like if I'm nervous about my company laying me off or downgrading my pay, making more of my money to buy the same amount of items from the grocery store, that means one, I have less money in the bank to spend on these items that are not essential to daily life. But then also, I need to make sure I can survive. So if I'm nervous about being laid off, I'm not likely going to be spending money on things that I don't need, things that I don't need to survive. So that's one thing. The other thing is it does it may be that we're seeing a market correction. There's been definitely several years of prices like I said skyrocketing. And as the prices have been skyrocketing on the new side of things, they also have been skyrocketing on the pre-owned side of things. And I feel like there is some encouragement from the pre-owned side when you have a brand new item that sells out in 15 minutes. And then two weeks later, people are selling it for higher than the retail price. And the next thing you know, the retail price for the item increases because they, you know, if you're willing to pay for a pre-owned one for that price, then you'll pay for a new one. You'll pay more for a new one, right? So I feel like also the combination of the frequency of prices increasing. So if pretty much how it works is if basically if Gucci raises their prices and 
says that this bag is now two thousand dollars that was fifteen hundred then the pre-owned version of that gucci bag is also going to increase because the price of the the price of the new item increase so you have some influences on both sides that the resale market does help influence the the pricing of the new items and then vice versa and so i think there might be a market correction going on where we've seen this these prices skyrocket and it's pricing a lot of people out these people people that were able to just you know maybe save for three months and get something or maybe now having to save for four to five months or six months to get something and that means you're buying less that so i also think that could be a possible factor we have to keep watching and see what happens i am not a financial analyst so i'm just giving you my thoughts on being a customer in this <laughs> for a long time and and uh reading articles and things like that but i think that might be a factor in it now like i said we don't know you know but it could suggest we're seeing a price correction or market correction in that area and that would be good to see because like i said there's no reason you should be need to spend six thousand dollars on a used chanel bag right a new, used chanel plastic flap when back in the day you would be able to see that price that maybe 50 percent off of the new price it's just more more approachable more reasonable so it's interesting that people are still buying like you can in the article they mentioned that there's more demand for those fair condition items and those brands that cost lower so people are still shopping obviously also with that when i talked about kind of this whole thing where for example you can see something that has been a highly like a kusama piece that just got released from uh lv and then next month you're going to be able to see that that sold out kusama piece is now more than the retail price of the kusama piece so when that happens maybe people are deciding you know what i don't need to buy it on the pre-owned market because i'm having to spend more money so let me just buy it from the store that might be a factor where people are may just say i'm just gonna buy it from the store because you know it doesn't make sense to pay a premium and and it's a factor in it too so those are kind of my thoughts on what we're seeing right now we'll have to keep watching and see what happens in the future maybe it's a little blip now or maybe this continues but i definitely will be watching this and as we see changes and i see articles written and things like that i definitely will share them with you on this channel my bra is showing sorry about that guys um so i'll share them with you on with you on this channel so questions for you are have you seen a change in the prices what are your thoughts and what do you think about kind of what this cnn article is saying about the prices is this a good thing to you or is it a bad thing do you have concerns or you know just let me know your general thoughts down below don't forget to like this video before you go that will be greatly appreciated also subscribe if you are enjoying the content i encourage you to watch a few other videos if this is your first one and you're not quite sure it is free <laughs> so if you want to subscribe and want to change your mind later go ahead and subscribe now that way you can change your mind later <laughs> and hopefully i can sell you on staying around but thank you so much for watching this video i really do appreciate it and i will talk to you again soon bye